letter a day to number 10, Sunday the 9th of December 2012. Dear Mr Cameron, I must say I was very impressed with your reaction to Judge Peter Bower's judgment of Richard Rochford, who said, It takes a huge amount of courage, as far as I can see, for somebody to burgle somebody's house. I wouldn't have the nerve. I'm going to take a chance on you. This was a judgment in the highest traditions of the judiciary from a judge showing perception and insight, to which you responded by saying that burglars were not brave, but cowards, and their crimes were hateful. I'm sure you brought into play your vast wealth of experience on the subject gained from robbing a nation from the safety of your ivory tower and demonstrating not one iota of courage as someone who is least affected by the imposition of austerity and your daylight robbery of the poor. It is also interesting that you weighed in with your opinion, perverting the course of justice, which has many checks and balances, from a position where we have no recourse to justice against you, as you remove what checks and balances there were, and steal from the poor to give to the rich. Now, charities are falling under your axe as one in six looked to close in 2013, about which your cabinet office said the charity sector cannot be immune from cuts. Yet you are making loans available through big society capital, capitalised with £600 million, giving charities access to affordable loans and investment to grow so that they can do more. Once again, you rob the poor to pay the rich. For that is who loans benefit. The public generosity that has dwindled under the deceit of austerity gives way to loans which, as we all know to our cost, enrich only those who offer them, which payday loans, as the nastiest and greediest, demonstrate too well. If you had any courage, you would be protecting the poor. As it is, you are the very last man who should stand in judgment of a thief. Keith